is uh, January 7th, 2019, 3.40 p.m. in the afternoon, and it is a Monday. Happy Monday, my peeps, my lovelies, my betas. Um, I think I, I had this idea. Maybe the the start of it, uh, the seed for it, on Saturday when I went out and watched football and stuff. Um, but then I wasn't really too sure how to implement it because I was like, do I just call him a national emergency? Doesn't that just seem too plain and straightforward? And then when I got to work on Sunday night, Monday morning, I was like, yeah, that's exactly how to do it. But I wasn't too sure exactly how to do the room. Something about this wasn't working out for me. Um, uh, Style-wise, I guess, or where everything was landing. <laughs> Excuse me, change everything. Uh, I, maybe I should have recorded that because I, I want to rant today and I don't, and I only have six minutes. I made the desk a little bit larger. I, I wanted to make it look more imposing, like, like this guy is in a very, very important place, you know, the, the Oval Office and him being there is a national fucking emergency. I'm really mad today, so I'm going to, there might be a few F-bombs, um, because this issue makes me mad, and I understand conservatives don't like it when liberals curse. It's okay when conservatives curse, you know, like the president, but when liberals curse, you, you guys, you know, you, you, you kind of have a little hissy fit there. Is it hissy or hissy? Right now it's going to be hissy because I like the way it sounds. Um, this national emergency, my ass, okay? Let's talk about a couple of facts. Immigration, people apprehended crossing the border, has been going down steadily since 2005. Why is it a national emergency now? It's not. It's a medieval racist vanity project. That's all it is. Uh, Kirsten Nielsen, Kirsten Nielsen, uh, the Homeland Security Director, went out and said that like 3,000 people were apprehended crossing the border. People that suspected terrorists. That is a lie. Lie, 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 lie. Big fat fucking lie. People were apprehended that number coming through airports, and they're not terrorists. Uh, maybe one or two. Most people are like on the no-fly list, or they look sketchy, or they're carrying a bottle of water that they don't like, which is, would be also be sketchy. Uh, it's not 3,000 people at the border. Sarah Huckabee Sanders went on Fox News with Chris Wallace, who called her out, and she up to, to 4,000 people. And when he poured out those facts, she goes, well, I'm not disputing that they come through airports, but they're coming by land, sea, and air. Uh, no, they're all at the airport. They're all at the freaking airport. Stupid liars. 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 And now there's going to be this national emergency address tomorrow. Trump's going to go before the country and talk about, oh, this is a national emergency. Democrats need to give me all the money that I want. Okay. First off, why do you need to do this address? Can't you just post another meme on Facebook? Um, and you got 6,000 lies now, or 7,000. After you do this address, it'll probably be up to like 10,000. Um, if the wall is going to cost up to $70 billion, and you're doing all this bullshit over $5 billion, which is only just to, to kickstart it, you're kicking the tires up to $5 billion. Uh, and it's not about the money. It's about the whole freaking principle of the thing. It doesn't work. Why waste money on a huge stupid medieval thing that does not work um it, just logistically impossible you want to be courting years over eminent domain remember when you guys used to be all against eminent domain you know taking people's property remember that republicans so so if you can just go and also if you can just go take the money out of whatever de, uh department you want then why are we having to shut down anyway it doesn't matter how much you politic this you have your national address and you go visit the border when someone's not getting their paycheck, they're still not going to like you, okay? All right. I'm going to have to do some quick shout-outs. I've got like two minutes. I'm going to give a shout-out to Ariel, Robert Cotino, TJ, uh, Akinta, uh, Etz, and Art Mendoza. Uh, since only got a couple minutes, let's see if I can a couple of these. Uh, Ariel uh, says that we are, the rails aren't coming off now. Uh, we're miles away from that, and that is scary. I think Ariel is right. Ariel likes the TV. I mean, the, the hair and the ties bursting out of the TV. It shows how outrageous and beyond the realm of reality Trump is. You understand what I'm trying to get here, Ariel. Thank you. Um, Robert Cotino believes that we need to keep calling out the lies and, and stuff, but they don't really get people's attention, especially if they're Trump supporters. He also says, irony is totally lost to most conservatives at all Trump, Trumpistas. And uh, 
TJ says, it's literally the first thing I notice in any situation. TJ, no, it's not. Or if it is what you notice, then you're ignoring it. You know why? Because you are a Trump supporter. You guys don't understand irony. And let me go another further step. Conservatives don't understand humor, and they don't understand hypocrisy. They don't get it. You know, they're the biggest hypocrites in the world. I can't doesn't think impeaching Trump is the answer, and it may not be. Um, you know what? I think we'll go ahead and impeach him. I do. I don't know if we're going to remove him from office, but I say let's impeach that bastard. Yeah, I want him impeached. Yep, I'm going to go out there and say that. Impeach him. I kept adding stuff to this cartoon. And then I had to change ties around and all sorts of junk. Um, and I came back and changed that tie around too. When I thought I was done recording, I realized I forgot all the stars and the flags. So I went ahead and recorded that. <sighs> um, yeah, we need to impeach him. Impeach him. If nothing else, put that on his record. Because uh, in the future, I don't want kids in school going, well, he's so bad, how come they didn't impeach him? So let's go ahead and impeach him, you know, just for the history book's sake. Even though there's going to be a lot in history books to show this guy was was a motherfucker. <laughs> so, and that's helped me with some Spanish. Total Joder, Tonto Joder, the Spanish for silly fuck or dumb fuck, like I refer to. He says, I'm teaching myself Spanish as a hobby. Me too. And Art said the cartoon was excellent. So thank you guys. There's your cartoon. And, uh... Click the red button, subscribe, and come back tomorrow. Please, please, please subscribe if you're listening to this. Leave a comment, and I will say your name on the YouTube machine. Yay! And uh, I'll see everybody on Tuesday. I'll Maybe I'll be just as angry still. Good chance of it. Bye.